Let's check. Get rid of that stuff first. Keep all that. Hire all we can. Now, we've got to go to... Where are we going? Take... See, like, why would it bring me to the return system? Where is Vale? Tejot. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, let's just do this. We're about to go hoverboarding. As you approach Vale, dispensers from your remnant research take parts to weather their control an increasing amount of snowfall. Mm -hmm. And before too long, you are automatically guided down to landing pad. Looking outside, you see a multitude of tourist-oriented facilities. You could pick out a small sign off to the side. This one sounds more interesting. What do you think? Looks good to me. Uh-huh. You rent a hover car. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I'm having so much fun with somebody. Heading back to Spaceport. Today I surprised you by pulling the hood open on a hover car and spending almost an hour going over the internal systems. Well, that was interesting. So many different manufacturers involved. I wonder if humanity appreciates the luxury such diversity affords them. I promise you a tour of historic remnant district. Okay, I guess we're going for a, a, a history tour. As you leave your ship, you see a crowd. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second, here we go. As you leave your ship, you see a crowd watching a video. The video jumps between a panel discussion and footage of Admiral Danforth being quizzed about by Parliament. It's finished by two captains remain. And by sound, they're having a passion discussion. What was that video about? You're startled when the two captains turn into twin men with preposterous timers. <laughs> it's been weeks and everyone's still obsessing over the pug. It's been weeks? It's been weeks? It's been like years, I think. Even if these elusive pug existed... It was possibly, yeah. He ruined the anniversary. Look at this bozo. Uh huh. Nah, don't worry about that either. <laughs> the shaving thing is very funny. I ended the bomb threat. Who are you, Admiral Dan's Danforts? Did a Navy fire you, or are you here in Holly? Have you been under a rock? We've been mining asteroids the whole war, but most of us are the right one. Says thank you for your service, Captain Schatz. Huh? <laughs> nice job. See that? I'm well known, apparently. Apparently not. Who knows? Off to do my good deed. Oh boy.
Alright, let's take a stroll in a historic district. Here we go. Uh, I'm directed to a landing pad. Disembarking, yep. Approaching in. They're essentially a safety feature, but they can still hurt if you run into them. Wow. See that? They got like invisible shields. Entire train lines quite far underground. Or in a simply place under. Buckling the harness. I am looking forward to seeing where we're going. After several minutes, the lights of train cars pull several times. The train accelerates. You feel yourself pushing into the harness. Into the sunlight, you find yourself looking at a scene and almost like anarchistic. An an anachronistic. <laughs> Taylor looks around with Prime and watches your reaction. I don't know what to make of this. This is one of our earliest spaceports before we learned new techniques better suited to our new home. Our founding ships brought as much as they could, but of course it turns out the earliest phase of expansion looked much the same. Whether one is looking at historic pre-flight eras or model settlement eras. It still seems odd to see camels pulling levit levitating platforms. Is that so? Look at that. The car can support much larger men than it could if it split the force. In truth, I am somewhat envious of the industrial capacity the ancestral worlds contain. We have accomplished much, but we had to make choices. And one of those decisions as to where to spend our industrial equipment, we chose to focus on spacecraft and heavy industrial applications. We have no cars, no personal vehicles at all, really. Even these hover carts are basically repulsor systems from our spacecraft that have been repurposed to carry massive loads. Huh, how about that? It is ironic that in many respects, distant stars are more accessible to us than the metaphorical side of the mountain. Huh? How about that? Many of our explorers, in fact, live nomadic lifestyles. Look at that. See, this is good lore in the game. We were lucky, though. Our camels were able to sustain themselves in several categories of local vegetation that, from the start. It took quite a bit of experimentation with bacterial cultures, however, before we were able to before we were able to enable them to really forage properly. Now they thrive here. If they were to ever leave, the camels will probably continue to survive here for millennia to come. Well, let's continue this. Oh, oh. We discovered soon after we arrived here that this planet was not as safe as it appeared. It had a variety of natural predators, including swarms of predatory creatures, they prefer darkness. We discovered that while they were quite competent climbers, they cannot navigate overhangs. So while such lips are generally considered a structural vulnerability when defending against modern weapons, they are indispensable for containing local wildlife. Oh look, Korath ground attacks too. Are those wind turbines? They are indeed! Oh... Same below to survive harsh windstorms. Look at that. More wood products, huh? The native vegetation is biologically quite different from the trees of Earth. They have similar structural characters and go plentifully in many areas. We want to conserve our limited supplies of metals and other rare. A few metal straps enable the wood to hold a significant amount of liquid. I mean, that's what a barrel is. I think I've seen enough. Eventually she leads back. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Thank you for that.
Spaceport, nothing. Job board. I mean, why not? <laughs> well, you know what we can do? We can go hang around here and see if another mission triggers. Or... Or... We can go try our hand at... More world ship. Let's see what we got. I might be able to capture this one, but it's going to be tough. So, I'll take that and sell it. Kill. Oh, they killed both. Okay. Well, didn't want to do that, but it's okay. Let's check the spaceport. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. You stop by the spaceport just in time to see a large group of Revenant departing. Oh, yeah. Appears on the stream people. Well met. We're just going to the monthly celebration of remembrance. What is that? The celebration of remembrance is gathering. It sounds very formal. It's more. Oh. All right, I'm in. If you like, I probably with some commentary and explanation, but this is more of feeling. Together. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. The crowd. Mm hmm. No s sounds of drips or traces of lingering moisture. For interesting to a legion. Flurry of gestures or perimeter secure. Suddenly you become aware of drum beating sounds and it starts at the first ripple. Move in time with the beat. Alright. Existence starts with the pattern of the universe. Okay. Uh huh. See, another, this is more interesting lore stuff. See, I'm moving time with the beat. Soon you hear other drummers join. You cannot make out what it's saying. Time. Lift off. Anticipation. On the final word, the chant ends dozens of deep joys and... Mm -hmm. So many of this an almost mechanical feel, which is in turn... This is interesting stuff. You can see the entire tone of the song. See, it's got like background of the remnant, kind of interesting. It reminds me of like that scene in The Matrix when they're like dancing and sweating, it's really weird. The Matrix 2, which was a terrible movie, by the way. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, somebody had to make this. Somebody had to write this, too. Like, I give, I give the people that make the content for this game a lot of credit. Because they're doing it for free. <laughs> they have been on the precipice of extinction for much of their existence. Absorb the moment. Everyone has gone still. Most look exhausted. Some are sitting on the floor. A few people have been crying. Wow. I always find these celebrations of remembrance to be invigorating. What did you think of it, Aaron? That was awe-inspiring. Awe-inspiring. So now there's like actual like multiple branches that take you to the same thing. Why were some people crying? Many were friends of the crew of the ship that was recently destroyed. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Who leads them? Interesting. Uh-huh. You said virtually. Who is omitted? Only those guilty of the most serious crimes cannot stand as a lead. Hmm. What constitutes your most serious crimes? Crimes against society, acting against the basic interest. Interesting. That seems most well rehearsed. Well, it is and it's not. We hold these several times a month. I 
I think we'll have to get back to you later on that. She slips into a... Our celebrations are something that binds us and we can share our thing. It was recording. It says if those working posterior in a friend of mine. Yes, I definitely can. Did I steal a... I did. Boom. Looks like we're going here. Where was I supposed to... Oh, I have to go to there, okay. Sure, okay, yep, spaceport, nothing going on. Let's go over here, because that's where the mission is supposed to be. thing. Alright. When you arrive, there's a small group. Thank you for bringing this to us. Look at that. Huh. I get a little bit of compensation. Nothing on the spaceport. I mean, we could see what's going on with the weird area again. Now I can't go anywhere. So I'm not sure what to do with these. Scan. Scan's nothing. But we got weird other things, like this these weird these weird things. Alright, let's get we gotta get out of here. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, all the electrical storm. Okay, that's done. Spaceport, nothing going on. Now let's uh let's just see what's going on here. See if something will trigger. And if not... I might have to poke around some other space. Because I'm pretty sure... that there's other aliens and stuff to find out. What they're doing. going on? Uh-oh. All right. Looks like we might have hit the, uh, looks like we might have hit the end. Well, for now, at least. Sometimes time has to go past, too. But it seems... I just didn't want to go. That's okay. Dude. It seems that... That other... This uh, station up here... Something's going to be done with it soon. I, it seems like... That living stuff is, is probably... Something's got to happen to it. There, that thing went. Nothing here. I mean, sure. 
I want to go up here, and then if nothing triggers there, then we'll have to decide what we're going to do next. Nothing triggered. Okay. Where's Deep Space 5J? <laughs> what about Deep Space 9? Oh! Yeah, I think we're going to cut it right here. I think... I, I really want to get that world ship. It might take a long time. A lot of reloading. I think the tactic I was using was good. To, like, stay in that Korath system. And just keep reloading until I found one. Problem is, the ones I found and were able to board did not have jump drives. So I'm not sure what the spawn rate on those jump drive capable ones, but I know I saw it once, and that might have been my only opportunity for a long time. So remember, the comments you're giving me, I love them, and I read them. That's how I found those Inferno turrets. So keep them coming, love to hear from you. And hit that subscribe button, because we got a lot more content in this game. If I can't trigger the remnant missions in a little bit, I think we're going to have to go check out some other aliens. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.